The SIF is providing these short tutorials to assist SHRIMP subscribers. These are companion pieces to the SHRIMP 4.0 user guide that can be found on the SIF webpage and within the SHRIMP tool. We're going to walk you through an assessment process overview. Once you've logged into SHRIMP and you've pulled up your assessment that you'd like to manage, you'll see a similar screen. Across the top, there's a navigation that'll allow you to go through your systems, your assessments, any related documents or old DIMP plans, the user guide, and a change log for SHRIMP 4.0. The first step you need to do is actually click on this required settings tab. Make sure you have all of this information up to date, including your program reevaluation period, external sources that you pull information from to inform your DIN plan, accept the default risk statement, and enter the individual that's responsible for ensuring that the requirements of this plan are compliant with part 192. Save this information, and then you'll begin walking through your threat interviews. The corrosion interviews are all baseline interviews and are generated based upon the system asset information. For example, if you have indicated that you have unprotected bare steel, you'll be prompted to complete that interview. If you have cathodically protected coated steel, you'll be prompted to complete that interview. If you do not have any steel or plastic with isolated metallic fittings, you will not receive any interviews in the external corrosion tab. For all the other non-corrosion non interviews, there are base interviews and then there are sub-threat interviews that are generated based off of your answers to base interviews. For example, in the material welder joint failure interview, you'll see that there's this entire system base interview. I'm going to click on that one to show you where depending on how you answer these four questions, sub-threat interviews are generated. So I have indicated that yes, I have manufacturing defects, yes, I have workmanship defects, that I found material, the following you know, three known industry problematic materials are in my system and I have installed permalock tapping tees. When I go back to my main assessment overview page and go back to my material welder joint failure, you'll see that I have generated sub-threat interviews for each one of those. In the manufacturing defects, I've actually subsectioned out that area into two different types of manufacturing defects, copper and material A. Once I have navigated through each one of my sub-threats and completed all of the associated interviews, I will then see that my risk rankings tab is now available to use. I'll click over to that risk ranking tabs in order to begin filling out my additional actions and performance measures and verifying that the shrimp ranking is consistent with my subject matter expertise for the ranking on my system. If for some reason this risk ranking tab is unable to be clicked upon, you should verify that all of your inner or all of your threats are complete. If they are not complete, you should double check the tab, make sure everything in there is showing completed. If for some reason there is an inconsistency, you should contact app support at apjsif.org. Once everything is completed, the risk ranking tab is open. Again, you'll click over here to walk through and you'll enter your additional actions and your performance measures. And then you'll verify um, that information by saving and closing it. The other option here, once you've done all of your additional actions and your performance measure is if you would like, again, to re-rank your threats, you'll click here to re-rank threats. This will open a new tab for you and it can take some new time to pull and generate all of that information over. If you would, for example, like to move up a, your cathodically protected bare steel above your cast in wrought iron eight inches or smaller, you can drag and drop this and re-rank. So you'll type in um, your user rank explanation and press save. If you can do that as many times as needed in order to rank your threats um, in the way that your subject uh, that is consistent with your subject matter expertise. You'll confirm your new rankings and you'll be brought back to your ranking list. Any threat that was modified 
will now show up in purple. Once you've completed all your AAs and your PMs and you are comfortable with the ranking that is being provided, uh, you'll then be able to move on with your assessment. The add text feature is one that is a legacy from Shrimp 3.0, and it's just an, an ability for users to add text into their Word DIM plan uh, in a way that is saved within the Shrimp tool versus manually added into a Word document. This is completely optional and only for the users that find this helpful. Once you've done that, you'll go to your implementation plan, this is some information that Shrimp found to be helpful during your distribution integrity management plan inspections, your regulatory inspections. And so we've added some information just to make sure that all of the Shrimp information in your distribution integrity management plan uh, is consistent with what your inspectors expect to see. You'll save that information and then you will be able to preview and finalize your plan. Please note, all information brought over from Shrimp will be, if you're a first time user, you'll be missing this plan version history table. You should refer to your latest DIMP plan, your last plan that was generated and repopulate this table. This is table one in your Shrimp plan. You also wanna make sure you know what your plan year is, the effective date of your plan and your previous plan version. Again, your documents will be saved here. You can preview your plan just to verify that all of the information is correct and being pulled over before you either generate a Word or PDF plan. I highly encourage that you preview your plan before you generate your, your Word or PDF. Uh, if you, for some reason, need to upload a user file, you're welcome to do that here. Uh, once you've done that, guess what? You've created your DIMP plan and you're ready to go execute it.